everybody, it's Shanna. I wanted to make a quick video on some cards that I made over the last weekend. Um, I had off work and I worked on some cards. Um, a couple of these I'm going to probably use for a swap on many albums. Um, first of all, we have this one um, with a little CC Design girl. Um, fairly simple little card. I just colored her with my Copics and the little bird bath and um, used some of those little wood Prima birds. Then I took this um, lace, I guess, trim. I didn't really like the color green it was, so I colored it with some of my Lindy's to make it a darker green. And then, I don't know, let's see if I can show you. There's like four different layers here. I kind of altered them to make it look like grass. So, just use some uh, cloud paper that I had in my stash. And this is a die from Creative Time with Emma, plus one of her stamps. Um, just says Reach for the Sky. I figured it's a nice little um, card to send in with some swaps. Then, um, Needed on many albums, the the swap for April um, for the cards is paper piecing. So the rest of these, I was doing some paper piecing with the images. Um, these are all um, like digital images that I have, or copies of images that I have. So I'd done a video on previously on how to paper piece those. So I've wanted to try one of those explosion box cards and um, I actually did and I guess if Trish watches this she'll be glad to know I actually did use some modeling paste in a stencil and I made these dots and then I sprayed it with my Lindy's and then I used that for the back side underneath you see my gal and I had to pop her up because of the way um, this exploding box was. I have these really thick pop dots and I mean, you can see how thick they are and I actually doubled them to get her to set on the outside. So, um, but I kind of wanted it to look like she was sitting and um, then I just used a piece of ribbon and a little buckle trim up here. And so my paper piecing is her little dress in here and then I copied the rest, Copic, the rest of her. And it's an easel card. I just absolutely love easel cards. And let's um, so scoot this a little bit. So the bottom here is just some more papers. And I think this one measures six by six. Um, part of me feels like this is kind of bare around here, but I just really couldn't come up with a different idea um, without making it look busy. So. I don't know. I felt like the buckles, I have a buckle up here and then a buckle down here. So, and then of course my little hello has got some bling. These are just some letters um, that I got. And I did use that ribbon down here again. And uh, so I haven't decided. I pr might not send this one in for it just because it's so thick. Um, this is just definitely not one of those mailing sort of cards. You're going to have to put it in a box. And then the next one I have, these most of, well, let's see. I got a mixture here. Both these stamps are from La La Land. And this one here, um, I paper pieced her little gown. And I know you can't tell, and I probably shouldn't point out my boo-boo. But when I did this paper piecing, yeah, you can't tell. Um, I actually didn't get my either my printer didn't line up or my paper didn't cover well enough but I had this corner right here that wasn't um, covered and I did not want to waste this image the paper piecing part so I put a little flower on her dress and I actually got this idea from some of the ladies who's been using those Prima doll stamps um, they've been putting flowers and stuff on their skirts and I thought it was a great idea so this one I just I used um, some trim. I have the doily die from Creative Time with Emma. I also used the stamp here from Creative Time with Emma um, that I just embossed and um, put a little flat pearls there. And this one opens up this way. 
and I just put some more paper in there. So I'm probably going to send that one, I'm thinking, because it's a nice, I mean, you could mail that. I guess the flower might get a little squashed, but... Um, this is another one that I really was happy with. I, um, oh, I put my, oh well. Um, this one I did, uh, this one's five, I think the rest of these are five by five cards. So this is a little CC design, both the, um, girl and I believe the chest. And I used some corrugated paper paper that I got on clearance one day at Michael's and it had this little pillow and it just was eking for something and I had some paper that um, was actually in my just my stash and it had all these little animals on it and one side it actually that's where my cloud paper came from it was one side was clouds and the other one was all these little it's called hay foxy I can't tell since I cut this apart who actually makes it. Imagine S, I think. But I cut the little fox out and put her on the pillow. I did take some little twine, or uh, yeah, twine, because the pillow had little fringes on it, but I wanted to add extra dimension, so I added my own little fringe. And I cut um, just some squares out. Kind of felt like that was paper piecing too by the back part, but her clothes are paper pieced and this chest is paper pieced. And then you just open it up and uh, have a nice little spot for writing a note. So I'm probably going to send that one. And then the last one I worked on is a, another easel card. And um, I paper pieced her little outfit and this chair. And um, just tried to, I did some texture here on the, this kind of like floor. It was brown and then I um, used walnut stain to kind of stand it out some more. This was a new paper pack I got on clearance. That was a citrus from DCWV and of course Magnolia image. And here again I just used um, a doily from my creative time with Emma. And down here I have one of the banner wood banners from um, Deanna McCrae. And I actually do have her info. Well, this has her phone number on it, so I don't know that. Let me cover that part up. Because um, I'm not sure she wants that out and about. But this is Trees to Treasure Incorporated. And it's Diana McCrae.atcox.net. And um, that's her, let me, well, show up. That's her photo bucket page. I love her wood veneers, and um, I use stickers on it this time for the letters, but I have stamped on them before. So I also like this one. So I'm only supposed to send two cards, but I don't know. I kind of like all three of them. So I don't know what I'm going to send. Um, I will be sending something, though here soon. So um, I hope you like my cards. Appreciate the comments. Thanks a lot.